हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग फूड फिटनेस एंड फन एंड दिस इज डाइटिशियन मंजू मलिक तो आज है इंटरनेशनल योगा डे तो आज के स्पेशल ओकेजन पे मैं आपके लिए लेकर आई हूँ एक योगा चैलेंज जो हमारे जून के वेट लॉस चैलेंज में इंक्लूडेड था इसे कराने के लिए हमारे साथ स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनर एंड योगा टीचर निधि है जो हमें ये पूरी प्रैक्टिस करवाएंगी सूर्य नमस्कार की अगर आप बिगनर हैं तो आप इसके पांच राउंड कर सकते हैं अगर आप इंटरमीडिएट लेवल पे हैं तो 11 और अगर आप ऑन ए रेगुलर बेसिस वर्कआउट करते हैं तो आपको इसके 21 राउंड करने हैं एटलीस्ट थ्री डेज इन अ वीक ये फुल बॉडी वर्कआउट है स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग का एक पार्ट है तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं इसे My name is Nidhi Mohan Kamal. I am a strength and an Ashtanga Vinyasa trainer. And today we will do the Hatha style Surya Namaskar, step by step, from a beginner to an advanced variation. So let's go. Before we begin, understand that this is a Vinyasa flow. That means breath and movement. So breath is very important. Movement is very important. And also during any posture, where you are gazing or where your drishti is, is also very important. So first we'll do the Surya Namaskar on the right side. We always start with the right side first. So we'll start the Surya Namaskar on the right side first and we'll follow all of these steps, the breath, the movement, the drishti and the flow. So let's go. So first we'll start at the top of our mat in Tadasana. So the position would be feet together, knees together. Shoulders roll back, chest out, hands to the side. The next position is Urdhva Hastasana where you bring again your feet and knees are together. You're going to push your hips forward, arching that upper back, taking that chest out with your arms out on the side, gazing back. This is an, an inhale. From here, I'm going to have to step back because the wall is next to me. From here, position number three is forward fold. For that, we, when in Urdhva Hastasana, keep that length of the spine. So, keeping uh, the internal rotation of your biceps. You keep that space in your spine. Keep extending, lengthening that spine. You keep going forward, forward, forward. To all the way down, drop your neck and down. This is too much and we do all of this in an exhale. Your drishti is your nose. If this is too much and you're just a beginner, too much for you, uh, you can keep two blocks in front of you. Place your palms on it. Drop your neck and um, exhale in this posture. Drop your neck. Uh, or if you don't want to use blocks, in Urdhva Hastasana, whenever you're coming forward, find that length in your spine. Exhale, drop your hands to your knees or your shin, whatever is possible. Drop your neck and stay here. The next posture, Ashva Sanchalanasana is the next one. So for that, assuming that I'm here, I'm here on an exhale, on an inhale, I place my palms on the foot. You can bend your knees if you like. Bring your right foot back. Drop it flat on the floor from here bring your chest all the way to the left knee roll your shoulders back take that chest out gaze up this is all on an inhale the next thing um, uh, depending on which school you're going to sometimes people go in a mountain pose from here or sometimes they go in a plank pose I'm gonna follow the plank pose from here on an exhale you lift up send both your feet back come into a plank pose take your notice that your hips don't have to be arched or high up your lower back is neutral um, internal rotation of your internal rotation of your arms um, squeeze your hips together knees together feet together from here the next pose pose is ashtanga namaskar which is your eight limbed pose so knees on the floor hands on the floor you bring your chest on the floor keeping your hips up so notice that's an eight point contact um, feet knees chest and hands from here you roll forward Press your feet down on the mat, lift up, come into a cobra. Gaze up. Now, if this is too hard for you, you can always extend your arms forward and come onto your elbows in a baby cobra like so. 
and uh, if that's also too hard or you want to get into the posture you can press your hands down and come into a seal pose and as you gain the strength bring your hands next to your chest pressing your elbows in internal rotation of the hips pressing the hip down flexing the Pressing the hips down, flexing your foot so your kneecaps are off the floor, knees are together, feet are together. If your feet are apart, you won't engage the core. So feet together, knees together, feet together, knees together, flex your legs, kneecaps off the floor. Peel yourself up, elbows together, roll your shoulders back, gaze up, cobra pose. From here, you curl your toes in, you lift up. And you come in mountain pose like so. So again, if you're a beginner, getting your heels on or all the way down on the floor might be a task. So you can keep your knees bent and gradually try to straighten your knees and get your heels all the way down on the floor. From here, you come forward. Again, Ashru Sanchalan again. So bring your right leg forward. Press your knee down, feet flat on the floor. Roll your shoulders back. Gazing upwards, pressing your palms on the mat. From here, you lift up. You bring your feet together. And on an exhale, you drop down. Bring your knees. Bring your head to the knees if that's possible. Or if you are somewhere here, hands on the shin or on the knees and drop your head down. On an inhale, you open your chest out. Sending your hips forward. Gaze back in Urdhva Hastasana. And on an exhale, you come in Namaskar position. And end with Tadasana. That's how it's done step by step. So let's do one quick round on the left side. Continuity, let's see how it looks like. So starting from the prayer pose, starting from Tadasana, I go into prayer pose. Exhale, inhale, arms back, reach back. Push your hips forward. Exhale, fold forward, all the way down to the floor. On an inhale, step back into Ashwasanchalanasana. Drop your knee on the floor, feet flat on the floor, gaze up, pressing your pressing your chest into the right knee. From here. Exhale, come back into plank pose. From here, drop your heels on the floor, drop your knees on the floor, drop your chest on the floor. Inhale, slide forward into a cobra, gazing upwards. Curl your toes in, lift up. Exhale, drop into mountain pose. Stay here for three breaths. From here, inhale, please. bring the left leg in between the palms, drop your knee, feet flat on the floor, roll your shoulders back, gaze up, Ashwasanchalan. On an exhale, bring your feet together, come back in a forward fold, head down, keeping your heels heavy, inhale, okay, I have to be careful. <laughs> Inhale, come all the way up, send your hips forward, go back in Urdhvastasana. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart center, release the Tadasana. Good job. So, ye thi Nidhi. Do not forget to follow her on Instagram. Unke Instagram ke page ka link description box mein mil jayega. Saathi aap inke YouTube channel ko bhi follow kar sakte hain, jahan par ye yoga practice ke amazing aur bahut hi useful tips share karti hain. To aaj ke liye itna hi. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay fit, stay happy, and I'll be back very soon. Bye bye.